Hello! Today we are starting a brand new show called Violet Evergarden. Ever since I watched or like started watching Your Lie in April, uh, people have been telling me that I need to watch Violet Evergarden. And so that's what we're doing today. Let me just say I'm terrified because I heard that this is going to be another show that I might just cry at for every episode or that I might just get emotional at every episode. I was actually told that it's not like super depressing it more so just like evokes a bunch of emotions out of you not necessarily sadness um i've only heard good things about this show though i have some friends who don't watch a lot of anime that have seen violet evergarden and they really really loved it i think there's about like 12 or 13 episodes in this show and then there's also some movies i actually watched a movie that i think was in the violet evergarden world it was a few years ago okay i forgot the name of it but it was about this young girl she was inspired to become a like mail carrier and literally the whole movie was just this girl wanting to be a mail carrier <laughs> Every time I start a new show, I usually like to like explain if there's anything that I know about the show or the characters. Um, I think this is, is this a romance? Maybe? I know it's a drama. I've heard like, I've heard things about it being set during a war. And so that's basically the extent of the knowledge that I have on Violet Evergarden. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into it. It's been a while since I've seen a show that like really makes me cry. <laughs> Because last one that I watched that was super emotional was Your Line April. So it'll be interesting to get back into a show like this. I feel like I've been realizing for the past few months that with my channel, I've been focusing a lot on like rom-coms and romances and dramas instead of um, like shonen, which is honestly what I start out watching um, on this channel. Like I watched a lot of shonen. I started out with like Attack on Titan, Jutsu Kaisen, Death Note, Tokyo Avengers, and like I love love shonen still uh but i just think it's interesting that i've kind of leaned more towards the romance and drama anime shows now i think watching these shows are they're really fun and like warm my heart a lot and so i'm glad that you're all enjoying um these reactions too not saying that i don't want to react to shonen and stuff like that because i still love watching those types of shows like chainsaw man and um jutsu kaisen and stuff but i feel like right now i'm like I'm in a I'm in a romance drama phase, which is completely fine. I don't know. I'm still I'm tr I'm still trying to figure out my channel. Even after like a year and a half, two years of having this channel, I think we're actually coming up on two years of having this channel um, on YouTube. That's okay. I feel like on YouTube you're always evolving and stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see where this goes. Uh, but yeah, that was that was kind of a random thought. But I just wanted to share that with all of you. Anyways, if you are watching this on YouTube and you want early access to the next few episodes, we're probably going to be like four to five weeks ahead over on Patreon, so feel free to check that out there. On Patreon for early access, the show is full opacity, there's full audio, no watermark and stuff, and there are also timer reactions too. If you want to see my full reaction to each episode, you can sync up your own copy of the show with uh, my reaction. Okay. Thank you all so much for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> Let's get into episode one of Violet Evergarden. Wait, this is a Netflix original series? So this was not adapted from a manga? Okay. Alright, it does look like it's set during some sort of war. animation is gorgeous the music too the music is really beautiful what the heck happened to her so it seems like she was in some sort of army was she Oh. oh my god, this is gorgeous! Is this paper gonna magically end up in the person's arms that it was addressed to? <laughs> yeah, this is so pretty! I'm... I'm shocked. <laughs> Holy cow! 
Wow. Violet Evergarden. Okay, obviously, since this is my first time watching and it's the first episode, I'm going to have a lot of questions. So I apologize for that. What? I didn't know we were gonna see blood in this. Major Gilbert. I hope he's not dead. You're just gonna ignore her question. Wasn't she writing? Yeah, to Major Gilbert. She needs to know. I, I think they're lying. I feel like he's not well. Like, also, is there something in his pocket that he's been meaning to give her? Or maybe he's just like, I don't know, he wants the sands in his pocket, maybe. Mm, so that's that's who that guy was in the beginning. Okay. I think he's lying. Violet-chan,可愛いんだ。好みが分かんなくて、三つ買ったんだけど。Your <laughs> Gilbert's dog. Oh lord. Okay, what can this girl do that everyone sees her as this like weapon? Does she have a family? Oh no. Oh, this is so gorgeous already. I know I keep saying that, but still. Okay. Mm, look at those beautiful flowers. It's a nice garden for the Evergardens. <laughs>。しなくていいのよ。<gasps> Silver? What? What the heck happened to her hands? It seems like she's not phased by anything. Okay. I want to know what happened to her real mother, though. Like, does she have a real mom? She doesn't have any parents. Okay. Ooh. Are they just gonna keep using that against her, like to make her do what they want? If everything is Gilbert's wish, then she's gonna comply? It's kind of messed up. She lost her value when she lost her arms? No! That's such a sad way of live if you think like that do they like make her in a laboratory <laughs> i have so many questions it's a huge building mm. it's a, a private postal service okay it's probably very different from what she's used to. 
Whose voice is that? <laughs> yeah, how old is she? Is he going to be an angsty boy? Who's not going to want to help her out? <laughs> but deep down, he's going to have a soft side. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the flushing. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind if I don't find out who this voice actor is. Kind of sounds like Kageyama from uh, Haikyuu. I don't think it's him, though. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think she might be used to it. Oh, that's going to be tough, having to learn... All the streets and where all the houses are. Is she gonna try doing it by herself? She is! No, that's Violet! Oh my gosh! What time is it? Oh my gosh, she has to be given permission to do everything. And like, I don't think they want to give her permission. They just want her to exist like a human being. To live, live freely, yeah. I feel like she is so traumatized. Is that what he's talking about? She doesn't even realize how, how hurt she could be. Miss Doll? Is that what they were calling her in the army? Just a doll? Oh, that's what she said. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Look at her! Oh my god. Holy shit. How? How is she so powerful? Auto memory doll service? Where's Violet? Auto memory dolls? Oh, okay, okay. Does <laughs> okay. okay. she want to know what Gilbert is to say? Oh. Huh. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. どのような状態を意味するのか私には理解できないのです。ギルベルトの命令にただ従っていた彼女が初めて自分の意思を主張した道具と言われた彼女が愛してるを知りたいと言った。Oh。Did she rip off her arms for him? Oh my god. 
so that's what this show's gonna be like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, yeah. Great. I feel like Violet has so much to unpack and learn about herself. I want to know more about her backstory. I want to know more about her and Major Gilbert. What a beautiful first episode. Oh my gosh. I can't remember the last time episode one of a show made me like cry or feel emotional. And I feel like that's such good storytelling if a show does that. Because that was what, like 24 minutes? If you can get the audience to connect to these characters in just 24 minutes, I think that is great storytelling. And not just with like the writing, but also with the way that they set up the shots and the music and everything. So Violet's gonna have to get used to this new life that she has. She's been in the war and in some sort of army for so long. For her whole life, it seems like. Stepping back from that and like slowing down and not feeling on edge like 24 7 that's gonna be something that she's gonna have to get used to. I'm really excited to see her growth and I feel like it's gonna be amazing to watch. I'd love to know more about these auto memory dolls. Like, is that what Violet is? Do they just call these people who work at this letter writing service auto memory dolls? Or are they a special type of person that has these like special powers, I guess, where they know what exactly people want to say to the receiver of the letter? I'm sure all these questions will get answered um, as I watch, but Guys, I'm so excited to watch more of this. I think this is right up my alley, this show is. Um, but thank you all so much for watching this first episode with me. I will see you in the next one for episode two. Um, Violet Evergarden is going to be dropping on Patreon and YouTube every Tuesday and Thursday, so you can look forward to that. But yeah, thank you all again, and I'll see you for the next one on episode two. Okay, bye everyone.